Right. This is not a tutorial. I want to make that very, very, very clear. This is a craft I've never done before, and the things I need to make it have just come in the post. Or actually, they came yesterday, but <laughs> I haven't had a chance to play with them yet. So, this is my box. And inside my box, I have... So this is some um, chia butter. This I have got for lip balm and hand cream making, which I won't be doing today, but which I might be doing in a video soon. I'll pop that over there. Everything else I have in here is for today's craft. And the very start of it is this stuff. So this is a soap base which is also a jelly, and I'm really, really excited. Um, so I've used soap, soap jellies from Lush before, um, but I thought it'd be really fun to try and make my own. So I discovered you can buy it. This is one kilogram. This is a lot of soap base. And I don't just have one. I have two. I have two bags of soap base. Um, honestly, I was kind of like surprised by how it came. I don't know what I expected, really. I expected kind of like a a brick of it I suppose but it's just like it, it's just I mean look at it it's just a yellowish blob now of course on its own it's not very exciting so in here I also have two scents I have uh, vanilla citrus flavor fragrance in fact which I will be using today and I also brought some cherry and melon fragrance and I got 100 millilitres of each. I've actually got no idea how much of this stuff I'm meant to use. Um, and oh, so, okay, so today I'm going to be using the vanilla citrus fragrance and I'm also going to be adding a little bit of fresh vanilla juice and maybe some kind of natural lemon ex extract. Anyway, box is empty apart from a few kind of business cards on the bottom. So, let's right. get started. So, uh, apologies, this video is going to include some slightly odd bits and pieces. My camera ran out of battery and my tripod doesn't work for my phone. Uh, therefore, this is a... Uh, my phone is currently perched between the stand mixer and the smoothie maker. It's just how it has to be. Um, right, so... Uh, First of all, I'm going to show you what I'm making my soap in today. So I'm going to be using this 250ml tub, which has a little lid. Uh, and um, I'm actually probably not going to fill up this whole tub today because it's my first batch. And I still haven't kind of, like, I've never done this before. I'm so excited. Uh, I, I think I've said that before. Anyway, I, I don't want to um, make too much and have made it wrong. So, I have clipped open my bag of jelly, thus, um, let me see if I can put my camera so you can see what I'm doing. Right, so I'm going to get a big spoon and I'm going to <laughs> just kind of slice it through the jelly. Oh, this is so much fun. Okay, this may be harder than I thought. It looks like it's all kind of broken up already, but it very much is not. Uh, uh, right, okay, we have a bit out. So, and I put it successfully inside the tub. I'm just gonna do another spoonful or two. Um, actually can't see whether you can see what I'm doing on camera or not but I'm basically just uh, wrestling to get a spoonful of this stuff from the inside of the bag into the outside world in one piece or many pieces I don't care which ah oh I'm so close like I've got some right in the neck of the bag just won't come right okay there we go and I think that will be enough for today. So, let's return the camera to its previous perch. Right, so, 
I think the best thing to do is to microwave inside this tub um, because I don't really want to microwave in a bowl that I'm going to use for food later. So I'm going to microwave it in very, very short bursts, stirring it frequently, very frequently, until it's nice and melty. And uh, I'll turn the camera back on when it's ready. Okay, so we have melted base. So I'm going to start adding my scent. So I'm going to add some of my cher um, vanilla citrus fragrance. Oh, that's quite powerful. Okay, so I'm just going to add a few drips. I've got no idea how much I should be adding. <laughs> and stir that in. I've decided not to use any colourings in this because I kind of, uh, it just didn't really seem necessary and it seemed like I was adding something that I didn't need to add. Uh, right, so now I'm going to give this a sniff. Ooh, you know, that smells fantastic and very potent. I'm going to give it a teeny dash more because um, why not? That was a bigger dash than I wanted to give, but anyway. I'll just stir it up a bit more. Oh, it's already setting. I mean, it did melt really, it literally melted in like 30 seconds in the microwave. Um, right, okay, so um, I want to add a bit of lemon juice. So I'm gonna do that quickly before it goes too far. Of course I can't always, right, so I'm just gonna give it a splash of lemon juice and stir that in. And wow. Okay, so I actually think I need to remelt this now I've added everything because it's kind of, as I've stirred it, it's set. Um, so it's kind of granulated. Oh my gosh, the smell is really nice. Okay, so I'm going to heat this back at wave and hopefully that'll make it a nice clear jelly once again so that it will set nicely. Well, and in about 30 seconds, it's returned to a nice complete liquid. Um, I'll give it one more little stir. Uh, it's a bit bubbly on top. Okay, and now I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm going to pop it in the fridge and I'll see if it's possible for me to get it out. Um, get it out of the tub to use it, which of course is the real test. But there we go. Okay, so I realised that I have a few bits of soap jelly on the spoons that I used to mix up. So I think I'm going to use this to do a foam test <laughs> to see what my base is like. So I've got a very small amount of jelly there. Wow. Very small amount of soap. Quite a lot of bubbles. I'm excited to see how this is, how this works and what it looks like. Yay. When it's ready to pop out, when it comes out of the fridge. Okay, so it's, uh, I think about an hour and a half later. This is now kind of room temperature-ish and it's looking pretty set. So I want to see if I can pop it out. Um, again, no tripod, working with, cap with phone camera still, not actual camera. Uh, so I'm gonna have to try and do it one-handed. Oh, that's promising. It's coming away from the edge there, ooh. And there it is. There, it's my very first shower jelly. Wow, okay, so it's a bit sticky because I got some around the edge. Um, so yeah, it would probably be better to uh, do it in another container and then pour it in to avoid that, I think. But, and yeah, it's a bit frothy on top. Uh, I think to avoid that, the bubbles, you have to get some rubbing alcohol and spray it over the top. So I do have some rubbing alcohol, I might try that next time. Um, but what has happened is that I've got a few little pieces on my finger. Uh, so I'm going to go and wash my hands. It does smell like absolutely amazing. The entire room smells good.
right, I'll pop the lid back on that and I'll go and show you how well it foams up now. It's properly set and dried. So again, do this one handed. Can't be too hard, right? Yay, we have bubbles, even with only one hand. <laughs> and there we go. So I can happily say I have made my first ever soap jelly. I'm very excited. I um, look forward to playing around with more flavours, adding more bits and pieces in. And uh, I'm well, thank you very much for watching this video. It's been a real voyage of a discovery for me as well as you. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.